Hey guys, this video is about keeping your daily fitness log slash journal. So in the emails I've sent previously, I told you to get a composition book that is not spiral bound, but rather, I don't know what you call this, but bound not by spirals. Um, so a composition book like this works, all right? They're very sturdy. The spiral bound ones tend to uh, rip apart when you're all sweaty trying to write in it, all right? So get one of these if you haven't already, all right? Next, uh, <clears throat> this is your book, all right? This is your book to write in it what you want and how you want. I'm just going to make a few suggestions. I found that a book helps me track progress because we tend to forget the little wins and always remember the big losses. So when we can go back into our book, we can see, oh, I did this uh, two months ago, and now I've progressed from there, and that old thing's really easy. I forgot that I started there, all right? So I always start by writing in my book the date on top, all right? And you can see here, I wrote today's date, 821 and I also usually write where I work out because if I'm working with machines that don't have the same equipment the weight on it is going to change so this will give me an idea of let's say I did a lat pull down and one machine says 30 pounds a completely different machine might not have the same exact weight that's all dependent on the pulley system and the cables so it would explain to me if at one place I'm pulling 100 pounds and at this place I'm pulling 30 pounds, it's because they're two different machines. So right where you're working out if you tend to work out at different places. Next, um, you're going to start transcribing everything from the program that I sent you into your daily log. All right? This is... Uh, so that you can bring this to the gym with you and record exactly how your workout went. So if I told you to write down, I know this is probably mirror image for you guys, if I told you to write down that you're gonna do squats that day, push-ups that day, and German arm swings that day for a total of three sets. This is how I write it in my book. I like to bracket it, and then I can make notes for those three over here, or you can just write three times with a colon on top. But I'm gonna do my 15 squats, then my 15 push-ups, and then my five German arm swings. Once I get through that three times, I can take note and say, oh, squats were easy today. I should either increase my amount of reps or increase the weight that I'm using, right? Or I could say, oh, they were really hard today. I should stay at that weight, right? If there's nothing to note, nothing of importance, then I just make my bracket marks as I go along. So three to make sure I did one round, I'll mark one off. Then I do the second round, I mark one off. Do the third round, mark one off. This is because we get tired and lose count when we work out, all right? I don't care if you think that you can remember count. In my personal experience, clients never remember the count. And when I'm working out, I never remember the count. So I just mark it off because I'm too tired to think, all right? So use this to take notes. And you would basically just follow the same setup for everything on your program, all right? You will write down the workouts, write down the amount of reps that I told you to, and if it's a weighted program, you have to kind of guess your weight that you're gonna use to start off with. So record it so that the next time you come back to that exercise, you know, okay, I tried 15 pounds last time and that was easy, I could probably do a little bit more. You will never remember the nuances of this stuff if you don't write it down. I've had this book since October 2016, all right? So they stick around. I have tons of these with all old workouts in it that I, I reference when I'm making up new programs, all right? That's the basics of the book. Um, that's what I use it for. Feel free to also write down your nutrition stuff. Uh, I tell, I have some clients write down sleep habits in them, how they're generally feeling that day. If they're excited for the workout, they feel really sore from the previous workout. Then you can start to see trends and then you get more engrossed in it and uh, 
you know, you're holding yourself accountable. You get more into it. It becomes of more interest to you, more important to you. Anything that you do in life, the more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. The book is one of the things that is going to keep you accountable for signing up for this program. I highly, highly, highly recommend you get a book and you write stuff down in it. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to contact me and I can help explain more of how I use the book. Um, and that's it. Good luck.